A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So, I have decided to make that horde base of mine on this side of here. Um, I was actually considering making like a bunker base and then building on top of it, but I think this should be our home base because we can easily tweak this and stuff and expand on it. And that over there is going to be the horde base. Um, I have a design in mind. This one over here is a little bit too OP. Although, that being said, we d haven't faced any bosses yet. So I can't say whether this truly is OP or not. Because with the bosses, some of them literally, their heads go to over there and some of them go to over there. So this is too small for those. For like the Nemesis zombies. But just for the normal zombies, for some of the boss zombies, I feel like this is way too OP. We're not actually seeing a lot of action. So with that defense, I'm going to have a more up in your face kind of in front kind of thing. Uh, it's basically going to be a, a lot like the one on my server. So if you guys have been seeing the streams, uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun, a lot of bosses, nemesis zombies and stuff doing hordes. And yeah, overall, it's just been super, super, super fun. If you guys haven't yet, come check out the streams. It is really, really awesome. <laughs> just the sheer amount of bosses and stuff we keep getting is just insane. And it's basically a horde night every single stream. Oh, and I'm also doing like the end game quest for this as well already. So... I more or less know what to expect now, um, which is the only thing that sucks about doing like videos and streams at the same time. Although I can argue as well, it's going to really, really help knowing what to do in the future. Not getting stuck in like, oh, what should I do now? Where should I go now? Uh, I did notice though that the progression in, on, uh, in the single player and multiplayer is different. Also, uh, someone actually commented saying, uh, saying, as you guys know, like so, if you go to the fridge, uh, if you put stuff on top of each other, one at a time spoils. Like, for example, one drink just spoiled. Now the ninth one is going to start spoiling. I have these over here for them to actually spoil. So why don't I just do this? If I do that, they all spoil at the same time. Although I do think I should probably do that with a coffee. But all the other drinks that can spoil, just de-stack them or unstack them. And they'll actually spoil a lot faster. And that makes so much sense. So much sense to the point where I'm like, whoa, why did I not think about that? Okay, Grandpa's learning Alexa. I do want to save for Horde Knight. Uh, we do need to level up. Although, like I said, the progression is way different. I am what level? I'm 10 levels under that of the server. And I'm not nearly as far as we're on the server. On the server, the tier 5 quests give you tier 5 buildings. Tier 6 infesteds give you tier 6 uh, or tier 5 buildings that are radiated. Over here, we're on tier 6 quests, but it says you're tier 4 fetch and clear. But when you go to the trader, we're clearly on tier 6. So I'm so confused at the moment. There's like a mismatch between what the trader says our quest is and what we're actually getting. Although what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to focus a lot on questing. We have to get these quests up and done. I've got a little bit of a dog horde over here. I don't know if there's any more left in the area. But yeah, what a way to start the day. But yeah, we're just going to focus as much as possible right now on just questing, questing, questing. Also, that building over there has two of the final tier 5 quest uh, stashes. So I can't wait to start doing this. It's called the Mackison and Military Chest. I think the Mackison is a small green one and Military is a big, large, uh, white chest. But they have so many things inside and that's all the stuff we need to progress. To actually progress the storyline and actually just get further in the game, we need that hazmat mask. Because the research desk, the, the socket for vehicles, everything is inside the tier 5 stashes. And also for the storyline, to unlock the last slots over here, you have to follow the storyline. So after like doing the tuna cooking skills, uh, this over here, we can go fishing. I now know how to do it. It's actually really dumb. But yeah, basically we can do the fishing if we wanted to. And then we're going to get a blue paper from this. But we need the research desk be able to make a second class remember we went for ranged bows now we have to do a melee class as well face a horde kill them out of zombies go through the same quest we did for this one and then we get a paper from that so we need four papers one ranged one a melee and then the journal and we can actually make the final stand quest final stand <laughs> final stand quest line and only with that quest line can you actually unlock these get the bottle recipe all that stuff Hello, copper. I'm so used to the mag bow and the server, although I'm not really using the mag bow much these days. I'm only using like the M60, which I can now make a level 901 of, and the automatic shotgun, which I've got a level 1000 legendary bundle for. 
I think I'm actually able to crouch at a uh, decent speed, right? So I don't have to stand up at all. And I can move. Now see, now I'm already starting to loot junk again. Every time a door is closed like this one behind me, I wonder, should I break it open? Because the... Yeah, there's nothing on that side. But this is what... There's an office inside of here, so I'm going to check it out. Oh, with the wrench, I have to come through here. Yeah? These over here. Yeah. We got one, I think it was the um, uh, Umbrella Corp building. We went through that one and it had so many servers. The amount of uh, like mechanical parts, electrical parts, springs, uh, not springs, uh, wires and stuff you can get from this is insane. I have to get into the habit of closing all the doors behind me as well. Because with all those doors open, it's going to cause problems with wandering hordes later. I could have sworn there was going to be a zombie in the roof over there, but okay. There's another cop over there. Booyah! Man, I love this bow. Early game, this is the best weapon, especially for stealth. But late game, like I said, you're going to start using the M60s and the shotguns and stuff more. Especially close range, a, a building like this, you can run and gun with a shotgun. That's awesome. Every time I see this, I feel like there's going to be zombies or something in the roof. Okay, this is a dangerous section. At least we have the jumping ability, so we can jump on top of here if we really need to. There's a weapons bag inside over there, and then that dude over there is usually the problem. Where are you going? Yep. You realize we're this side. But you have to be careful because zombies can jump and smack at the same time. That's happened to us way too many times already. All of this stuff will come back for a uh, wrench, especially the springs. We need a lot of springs right now. I think there's going to be a spider on this side. The nice thing is you can actually hold yourself up in one of these cells. So if you really wanted safety or really wanted to get away from some stuff, that's all you'd need to do. Where is this copper? Oopsie. And to be so careful, the moment you step on this glass, everything reacts. Hello, hello, hello. Why were you inside over there? I think I actually might have the thing, uh, the book where if you step on trash, you don't make noise. If that's the case, that's awesome. If you see, this over here leads you to uh, this over here. It's so easy to miss this weapons bag over here. Apparently, I missed two hidden stashes when I went for the cathedral and other place. And I arranged all these beds. The amount of springs you can get from this is insane. Especially for, like, Molotovs. Uh, no, for um, grenades and stuff. Later, when you need to progress your weapons, it's so awesome just to be able to just blow zombies up and throw Molotovs at them. If you don't have those, then leveling up your class things is just, it's a little bit difficult. Okay, so we're supposed to go up, yeah? I have to move at such a pace where if a zombie spawns in late, I can just really shoot him. Also make sure I'm constantly reloaded over here. Books, books, books. I need to go for all of these curtains as well, because, well, it's twine. And then... It's you. It's you. Oh, come on. He dropped his loot all the way up there. I think the zombie is either in the rafters or at the back over there. I had to win the hide behind stuff. I think zombie bags are the only other things that I'll actually loot right now. 
Yep, he's hiding over here. I wonder if I can actually reach his bag. Nope. Okay, that's unfortunate. I want to be really careful with how I move, how I shoot, the noise I kind of make. At the moment, the problem is uh, we could stealth really easily. But the moment too many ferals start waking up, ooh, that's when you start having some major problems. Oh, get my bows back and then loot them. See, I'm starting to get a fool already because I said I wasn't going to loot anything and I already have stuff on me. As long as the Wandering Wards are outside, not inside, we should be fine. And just reload this. Even this is really not necessary because it's only going to have ink. Although the ink is super important later on. Ammo we don't really need right now. Probably just make sure that no zombies get inside of here with us. The trick is to go through a place as quickly as possible. That's why I'm crouch running right now. As quickly as possible, but also... Oh, you're still alive. Uh, you don't want to make too much no uh, noise while doing so. Oh, crap. Hello. Oopsie daisy. I don't want to start shooting now. don't want to start shooting. Oh, where's he going? Hey, hey. <laughs> he doesn't know where I'm going or where he wants to go. Come on. Come on, dude. He's going to go upstairs and try jumping down at me. That's going to be dangerous. Yep, he's still moving. He's still moving. You can see him go up. Is he seriously going to jump down? Oh, he's stuck on that side. Okay, it gives us time to just really do this. Okay, now when I go over here, he went through this bathroom here, right? So I can do that to slow him down a little bit. I want to check out this bathroom. Yep, it's definitely still up there. The problem is now there's going to be a lot of ferals and stuff over here. We need to be able to stealth him. Oh, he went back down. Come on, dude. You can do it. You can do it. I should probably make myself a thing over here. Um, perhaps like so. I'm going to be able to get up and out. Oh, crap. He made it back. He made it back. I should probably have blocked that off over there. Come on. These guys can be seriously dangerous and seriously, yeah, they're really, really bad news. There's bikers usually over here as well, so I have to be careful of them. Nice. That's a zombie from outside that's trying to get in right now. That's not good. Oh, hello, Fitch. I'm actually thinking of making a little bit of a hole over here uh, in the door and hitting him. Or, if I can break this faster than he breaks the door, that's going to help us. I don't want him breaking doors right now. The door still slightly provides us a little bit of defense. So the more doors are gone, the more wandering hordes and stuff will just be able to waltz through here and just wreck us. Man, there's so much to loot in this place. So he tried breaking through over here. There's a feral over that side. Okay, now. You have to make sure you hit them three times, otherwise it's not enough. 
Boom, sometimes that is enough. <laughs> I should actually see when we have points. Oh, hello. When I have the points where I can't go a little bit more into stealth. At the moment, if you look at our bow skill. Come on. Um, bows, 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 bows. That's maxed out. Yeah, this point is only going to give us the mag bow. So it doesn't do anything for damage. That's now maxed out. So what we need to do is either infiltrator. No, that's landmines. Penetrator. Yeah, it's either going to be penal uh, the, the penetrator over there. So it does more damage against um, armor. Or, um, Hidden Strike. I have to max out this more. Deals an extra 200% damage. Basically, like, for example, in my Darkness Falls, even though I'm dealing with demons right now, my bow, or my, uh, my sniper rifle, can actually take them down uh, uh, with, like, a sneak attack. Even though they have insane region and stuff, my bow can do that, or my sniper rifle can do that now. I keep saying bow because I have a bow via. Okay, so now... Onto the office. It's a shame I can't shoot her through here, but there's no hole in that door. There's going to be a wandering horde soon as well. I'm trying to clear these places as quick as possible. So we don't have to worry about the wandering hordes as well. But the problem is, after I clear this place, I still have to loot this place. And I definitely have to. It's one of those things where you don't want to. But if you don't do it now, you're really going to regret it later. It goes down to something. I wonder. Can I do this? I'm just going to zoom in. Oh, she might actually be clever enough to crawl. Oh, no. <laughs> She's dumb. I was going to give her props because it looked like she wanted to jump up and then go away, but nope. So usually if you can go down like that, it means there's loot down there. But we're going up. Definitely above us, Sevilla. Woo! I have to be careful. I have to make sure that we're always, always, always reloaded right now. More radiated that side. I wonder if I can actually get this. Nice. See, sometimes you can take their heads off. Other times you just stun them and you're like, what? That's so cool. They're a little bit graphic though. <laughs> I wonder how YouTube feels about the zombies actually being dismembered and stuff right now. Okay, so now... Okay, just in time. The final room is going to be the worst, though. But yeah, guys, uh, if I miss any hidden stashes, because I usually loot everything, uh, just let me know inside of your eye where hidden stash is. Because look, remember, I do a lot of looting off camera, but usually when there's like hidden stashes and stuff, I get you guys back and say, oh, look what I found. But if that stash didn't have anything good inside, I usually don't get you back. So I might loot the hidden stash, but I just don't show that I don't loot it, or that I have looted it. Come on, he's feral. Nice. Okay, now we just have to get the stash over here. On the way down, though, I have to see what I need to drop and stuff. We're just going to grab these. We're going to grab these. Grab these, and do this. And lockpick this. Oh, wow. And yeah, I was trying to just take a sip of my cold drink while I wait for it to fail. <laughs> okay, so this is first weapon. Boom. You guys know there's like this chest, but like a little bit wider. That's a tier 5 chest. Well, in the tier 5 radiator buildings, there's a white chest like that. And that one and the small green one. By small green, I don't mean like this small. It's like a little bit smaller than that. They have all of these awesome, awesome loots inside them. Although, usually if you loot those two alone, just the parts, the guns, all that stuff in there fills up your inventory. So you have to go multiple trips into a building just to be able to get everything. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need those. Vehicles. Can I make the buggy yet? 
buggy 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 yes okay so well i just need the the socket from a t5 building so as long as we can just get ourselves hit lucky and get ourselves the hazmat mask we're, so, we're fine gbf gaming was so lucky in his series he kept getting uh, a lot of the t5 no he, he kept getting airdrops or he, he waited for his airdrops to, like he, he marked them on the map and then later went back to them and most of these airdrops have hazmats in them and mine don't even have the hazmats in them yet the problem now is I need a, a hazmat mask. We started to get hazmat pieces, but because it's now just like starting to, we're getting like hazmat pants, gloves. We need the mask. The moment we get the mask, we'll be able to finally go into a different POI. Ooh, decorating table schematic. This is actually one of the things you get at like the, uh, the final stand as like the last reward. So it's weird that you can actually loot this out in the world. The fact that you can loot that out in the world, one, I wonder if you can actually get the jars and all that stuff in the game as well. Because I want to show you guys this. Uh, the final stand. This you get once you've uh, done the journal. So uh, four blue papers, the gr uh, orange and brown paper. So you combine them, you start this quest line. The reward for completing this. It's like the oil rig schematic, the jar schematic, all that stuff that you need in the game. The nice thing is the twine that you get from all of these curtains, you can actually use inside of pipe bombs. So even if you can't make like a ton of contact grenades and stuff like that, you can still make tons and tons and tons of pipe bombs. And they work just as well, in the, and just especially when getting your levels up. At the moment, literally all I want to do is get my levels up. Although at the moment, for Horde Knight, we just need ammo. And some Molotovs for some XP and stuff. But the moment we unlock the melee class, I want to be able to up the melee class by just holding a weapon in my hand and then facing Horde Knight that way. Oh, I didn't do this room over here. Hello. And there were no zombies inside of here as well. That's weird. Come on, give me something good. Nope. I mean, the ink itself is really, really worth it because later on when you can make your own schematics with the research desk, you need as much ink as possible. I think it's 20 ink per schematic you want to make. That's rather expensive. Okay, so just got myself that one book. Uh, also got a pistol out of a toilet. It's a really crappy level pistol. <laughs> but look at this. I love the fact that we have a high level wrench or a um, crowbar. Even on the server, I've only been able to find like crappy ones. And I think only recently I found like a really good quality green one. But just with the sheer amount of springs and stuff we're getting over here, the amount of... Uh, not Molotovs, the amount of explosives we can make just goes up and up and up. At least the nice thing is if we're wondering what comes, we just have to do that. Close the door behind us. We're going to be stuck inside a, a cell, sure. Uh, but as long as not all of them goes for the door, you're able to actually at least defend the door. I definitely have to keep way more of these time charges on me. Especially late game, um, on the server, I've been having really bad luck with the, the lock picking. But this, I mean, you even break into the stuff slow with like a, a tungsten pickaxe. Apparently the chromium one, which is weaker, does better lock damage you get in, but the other one gets more resources done. But overall, if we can get more time charges, sure they can start fires, but at the same time, they'll actually be able to help us get into things a lot quicker. Okay, so now to save some space, actually, uh, let's just see if I can... Stack some stuff. Uh, we should be able to talk to the trader with that, right? Cornmeal you can make into stuff, so I technically need to keep that. Buckshot, I'm never going to make shotgun ammo, let's just do that. You need to have a little bit more space, I need to be able to talk to the trader. So we're going to talk to the trader, head back to the base, dump the stuff off and do the next quest. Okay, on the server I maxed out intellect, let me just make sure of here. Yeah, I need to have the glasses on. Basically, I've maxed out intellect on the server so I can have these on while talking to the trader. Well so let us see. Um, well let's go for this. Does the shovel have... Oh, where's my shovel? Yeah, it has the Grave Digger mod on, so technically I don't need another mod. Although you can never have too many mods. I'll take this though so we can start eating and drinking a little bit better. And then any more jobs? Tier 6 clear zombies, the right residence. I need to take something that's super close. Ooh, Judy Witch. The closer to us it is right now, the better. The easier it's going to be for us to clear stuff. Also, I just want to make some space by selling all the cash. And then seeing if you have anything that I really need right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, these engines are super worth it. 
as long as I well, as long as I range stuff from early game, I'll get all the mechanical parts I need. But if not, later you're gonna literally go and buy engines, just like on the server. You're gonna buy engines just to be able to scrap them for more mechanical parts. That's 30 mechanical per engine. I have to constantly make sure that we are making more and more and more concrete mix. And then over here we have them crafting to blocks. Boom. We actually, we, we more or less have enough blocks right now to make a base. Um, yeah, I want to make one before Sunday in game. I do want to do quests though. I need to do as many quests as possible to progress to the next tier. The sooner we get radiated buildings and stuff, the better. I'm just hoping we get the hazmat mask soon. Otherwise, we won't be able to step foot in those BOIs. Although, hazmat. T5 recipe. I wonder if that wasn't the reward for doing the food quest. I know one of the quests of here actually gives you a reward and it gives you the hazmat. Or it might just be the storyline as well. Either way, we need a hazmat mask. So, we're just going to crouch as uh, fast as possible. Our fetch is over here. Fetch and clear. Probably also grab all the mushrooms as soon as possible. Where, oh, where? Oh, there you go. I need to be careful though, because if I wake up too many at a time, then we're going to have a problem with here. I also just realized I never ate and drank. My stamina is at an all-time low right now, which is really bad for us. If I'm not mistaken, there's a zombie right around the corner. Remember, I thought it was going to be in a room over here, but that's a different POI as well. See, the only reason I have to loot everything over here is we need cans of tuna. If we can find all the cans of tuna, we don't have to go and make them. That's going to save us so much time and effort. Okay, usually there's a cop on the, uh, the steps over here, so that was a little bit lucky. Now I have to be careful though, these rooms, all of the rooms wake up at the same time. If I do that, perhaps. I wonder if I were to go into the wall like this. There's another yellow dot inside of here. No, it's not. Okay, cool. Luckily, all those doors are closed. It helps us out a bit. What the hell? Usually that room has zombies inside. That's so weird. I mean, I probably shouldn't complain, but at the same time, I don't like change. I don't like surprises. Okay, so the next one's going to be in here. And upstairs. That's so messed up. Hello. Bye bye. I have to make sure I kill it as it comes down the ladder, if I can. It seems to be on the other side. Reload, reload, reload. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Oh, see, daisy. Oh, also, technically, we have to destroy the doors because you can get um, brass hinges from doors. Although, obviously, I get mostly like knobs and stuff, but you can get the hinges. I think over here, sometimes there's a vulture as well, but although I don't really always get the vulture. Nothing up there. Okay, so now we jump over here. It's almost eight. If I can clear this place really, really fast, I think this side I should loot on the way down. And then just the house I need to go back for. Okay, there's usually no zombies over here. They're all usually upstairs. And uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because of the way they spread out makes it super dangerous for us. I 
There's a lady over there. There's a zombie outside also, and then there's, uh, yeah, there's a zombie behind the truck over here. There's a lady over there. I need to make sure they don't break in. That's a big problem right now. Oh, the one sitting inside this little section over here. I think. Yep, there's definitely a zombie outside of here. Okay, so now the dangerous part, that was the easy part. The dangerous part is over here. There's these zombies on top. Yeah, look at that. They just spawned in. The moment you set foot upstairs, that's when they spawn in. Um, I should be able... See if I can sneak all the way. If I can destroy that pallet. Feral zombie... Okay, she might not die from this. Damn. A few arrows to the back and she's still alive. Okay. So that was the dangerous part. And now the most dangerous part is obviously that final room. There's so many ferals and um, spiders and stuff down there. We might actually have to start shooting. The problem is the moment we start shooting the whole area, if there's zombies outside, nemesis zombies, whatever, all of them is going to come for us right now. Okay, so the correct path is you go up over here where these zombies were. You go down the staircase. But be careful, it says there's still two areas left to clear. So either I missed an area or this counts as two down here. I think this room itself counts as one. Just do that. And then the final thingy over there counts as one as well. Oops, see that easy. Okay, time for this. Crap, reload, reload, reload. Okay, now this bow. I need to stop his regen, basically. If I can get back down. There you go. Woo! Okay, now we just have to go for the final stash. That was a little bit crazy just now. Especially when that mutated dude did the pussy thing that actually broke the blocks over here. I thought, oh, oh. Okay, let me open up all of this final stash and then I still have to go into the kitchen to see if I can't get some more tuna. Okay, what's the loot for this going to be? Come on, give me something good. Eh. The time charges and more lockpicks. Okay, that's cool. I should probably use the lockpick and, uh, lockpicks until they break or just spec into them after all night. If I can lockpick more without having to worry, that'd be awesome. Come on, man. Where can I find hazmat? I'll have to do infested. See, I'm going to have to do more of these super infested. The tier, uh, tier 6. Oh, no, but the tier 6 infested will definitely be tier 5 buildings. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Because, and like I said, in single player and multiplayer, it differs a bit. So I might be able to get away with it. Many thanks. You've proved to be Feel not bad. Resourceful. And yeah, let's go for the crafting bundle. And as for a job, we have to see if we can't do any more of the tier 5 infested. See the super infested of here? Treats Terrace. There's no super infested of here, right? But I think it's because it says tier 6, although it's only tier 4. So let's go for the super infested of here. We need to start doing more of these, and hopefully inside this final stash, like the infested the stash, we'll be able to get some God more hazmat. It's either that or we have to go constantly to all the traders on the map, which we only have three of at the moment, and see if they don't perhaps drop it. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comment, steps, and feedback. Leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.